to interrupt, but I have a big surprise for you guys. A surprise? What is it? Whoa! Red Hot Turbo Charge! It's my Uncle Birdie! Hey there, little dudes! Oh, and dudette! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Your uncle is Fruity real well? The Big Air Roundup Champion? The best half-pipe stunt jumper in the world? Birdie's come to Treadwells to put on a stunt jumping show. Wow! I can't wait to see it. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see the show. Oh. Because you'll be too busy performing in it. Really? Oh. But I've come up with a totally rad new stunt that I want you to learn for my show. A brand new stunt? Yep, and it's a really tough one. But the show's not until the end of the week, which should give you plenty of time to practice. I remember Verdi practicing his very first stunt when we were little trucks. And every time you tried it... Total wipeout! <laughs> but I kept at it, and finally, I nailed it. There's nothing you can't get better at if you practice enough. Why, I bet if a truck practiced long enough, he could jump as high as the moon. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I've been practicing this a long time, so I should be able to. Whoa! Ow. Wow, I did it! <laughs> what are we sitting here idling for? Let's start practicing! Gnarly! Okay, now let me show you what you're gonna do in the show. First, we shred the edge. Then get some weight, huge air, and do a double overhead. And then nail the landing. How are we ever gonna be able to do something like that? With practice, that's how. It's not always easy. You may fall over and over again, but if you're patient, you can shred like a pro. Go on, give it a try. Well, that's tougher than it looks. It's go time! Not bad, Flip. With practice, I'm sure you'll really nail it. So will you, Biggs and Chuck, if you put in the time. And speaking of the time, I've got a roll right now. Keep practicing, and I'll check you later. I guess we should get back to it. You said it. This time, I'll be the getaway car, and you guys chase me. I meant we should get back to practicing. But we just did practice. We need more practice if we're going to do it right in the show. Suit yourselves. I'll wait for you out on the track. Lee Scarfoot is in pursuit. You'll never stop this getaway car. Oh, yeah? Yeah! I, ah! This game isn't as much fun when you
and you play it alone. Ready to try it again? Let's ride! Say it, partner, but we've been practicing and practicing, and we're still plumb no good at this. Uncle Verdi said we'd get better if we practiced, but the only thing I'm getting better at is falling. In that case, let's all play some bumper blitz. Not yet, Flip. We still have a lot of practice to do. Right, Biggs? Right now, I need a break from all this hard work. Uncle Bertie said I gotta practice if I wanna get better. And I do wanna get better. Woohoo! Uh oh. Whoa! Oh. Why am I even doing this? I could be playing bumper blitz with my friends if I wasn't wasting my time practicing. I'll just tell Bertie I can't do it. He'll understand. After all, I've practiced the stunt for a while and I still haven't figured it out. Uncle Bertie, I have to tell you something. Whoa. Whoa. Uncle Bertie, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this right. Looks like it's going to take a lot more practice before I nail it. So even you need to practice? Totally, every day. From beginner to pro, everyone needs to practice all the time if they want to be their best. Now, what did you want to tell me? Nothing, gotta go. for coming to my show. I am mega stoked to introduce three young trucks who are gonna perform a brand new stunt for you. All right, little dudes, show them what you got. It's go time. Here's some cheers! They may not have been perfectly gnarly, but the mega awesome thing is that they gave it a try. You okay, little dude? If they couldn't do it... They didn't practice. You did. I don't want to let you down. Chuck, I saw all the hard work you put in. I'm already as proud of you as a truck can be. Besides, I've got a feeling you can nail this. <laughs> Stunt too. Uh, we still can. One day. Will you help us practice, Chuck? You bet. Yeah! All right! I am so stoked I came back to see that. And it only took you a few more days of practice to do it. We also spent some time working on a brand new stunt I came up with. Let's show them, guys. That was awesome! 
awesome! I am mega stoked to try it! Whoa, whoa. Oh. Don't worry, Uncle Birdie. You totally nail it if you practice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to climb and watch me do it yeah any day any time you know i'm up to it i got what it takes to come through cause there's nothing i can't do gonna make all my dreams come true cause there's nothing i can't do start with something lower. These are the same size hurdles they use at the Junior Great Truck Games. We need to be able to jump over them without touching them if we want to be in the competition. On your marks, get set, go! Mm, nice try, partner. But you need to put some of the good old big style bounce into it. Like this. Amigo, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> let me try. Ooh. Ooh. I'm okay. I'm okay. <sighs> <sighs> Guys, maybe we should take a break and figure out a way to practice this better. Good plan, partner. Last truck to the diner is a clogged injector. <laughs> Fabulous, darling. Fabuloso. Uh, I don't know, Mom. What if this dance routine isn't good enough? Not good enough? But you're a fabulous dancer, darling. She's right. You're a really good dancer. Oh, thank you. I'm Chassie, and this is my mom, Miss Ella. Hi, I'm Chuck. I'm Biggs. I'm Rowdy. I'm Digger. Fabulous to meet you, boys. And Rowdy, you're right. Chassie is a fabulous dancer. When she dances on stage, hundreds of trucks watch and cheer. Hundreds of trucks cheer just for you? Wow. <laughs> be awesome to have everyone cheer for you. I practice all the time so I can be better. We're heading to New Truck City because I have an audition. What's an audition? That's when the trucks in charge watch the dancers show their best moves and then pick the ones they want to be in their show. To get a good role, my dance routine needs to be perfect. Getting a good role would be nice, Chassie. But to me, you're fabulous for just trying your best. Thanks, Mom. I sure hope my best will be good enough. Why don't you just do that leapy spinny thing again? I thought it was a uh, fabulous. <laughs> Can you teach us how to do that? Sure, but then I need to work on my routine. Hey, do you guys want to help me with my dancing? No, thanks. Your dancing looks neat, but we like to play other kinds of stuff. What do you guys like to play? Well, we like racing, and building, and rolling around in the mud. It's fun. In fact, you should come check out our dirt track. Wanna? I don't know. I really should practice some more. I think it's a fabulous idea. 
You work hard enough, Chassie. Take a break with your new friends. I'll wait right here at the diner. Come on, you're gonna love it. It's easy. Watch! in my dance. Say, do you want to help me rehearse? I'll give it a try. Oh. Rock. Missed that one, too. <laughs> We're never going to make the Junior Great Truck games this way. See? <laughs> Good. <laughs> like that? Looks like fun! Come on, let's keep training. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy's move is really good, Chassie. But I've got another one for you. Can you do this? Awesome! I can put that move in my dance, too. Hop and hop, Gabs, that looks fun! Hey, we don't do dancing games. We're training, remember? Chuck's Chuck. Can't we do both? Guys, come back! That looks good, y'all, but I got something to do. Try this here jump. Cool. Guys, what about our hurdles? Mira, look, Chuck. Chassie's dancing with moves that we made up. Go ahead, Chassie, show Chuck. Our moves look good in Chassie's dance, don't they, Chuck? They do look pretty good. Uh, hey, Chassie, do you want to try one of my moves? Absolutely. Ta-da! That's great. You guys are helping me make a dance that's totally new and completely cool. And drive, and chuck spin, and digger front stand, and twist, and the rowdy roll! This routine is turning out really well. I can't believe your racing moves are what made my dance. Hey, Chassie, you know those leaps that you did? Could, uh, could you teach me how to do that? You want to learn how to dance? Sort of. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Could we use that leap of yours to clear the hurdle? Well, let's try. Okay, so you get down low, like this. Then use your strength and spring up and... Red Hot Turbo Charger! It worked! Like this? Very good. You're not a bad dancer, Chuck. <laughs> and you're not a bad hurdler. Come on, I'll race it to the end. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Racing is a lot more fun than I thought. See! I better get back. My mom has to see the new dance. Hey, I have a great idea. Come here. Let's do it. Bumpers up. Friends to the And bounding and dancing are not 
Lizzie is sure to get a great role after her audition. What made you think of all those fabulous moves? We all work together. I thought dancing wasn't for me, and Chassie thought racing wasn't for her. But guess what? It's all fun. Well, thank you everyone for your fabulous hospitality, but we have to be on our way. It's a long drive to New Truck City. Stay fabulous, everyone! Bye! Bye, -bye. See you later. Come on, guys. Let's roll back out to the hurdles. I have a better idea. Let's dance back out to those hurdles. Rally roll! <laughs> Chuck spin! Bigs, buck, and leap! Dig a front stand! Junior Spark Plug Rangers Troop 9 is called to order. Ranger Boomer will lead you all in the reciting of the Spark Plug Oath. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, uh. A Junior Spark Plug stands for. Resourcefulness, teamwork, honor, and a clean windshield. Now, I've been teaching you all the fine points of tracking how to follow a trail, pick up clues, zero in on your target. Well, the time has finally come for you to earn. Your badges for tracking! Oh, yeah! Well, All right! Whoa! That Desperado Diesel ain't got a chance of escaping with you tracking him, Deputy Chuck. Looky here, trusty sidekick. This cactus is missing just three needles at the exact height of Desperado Diesel's side mirror. Hmm, sounds like a herd of stampeding semis are approaching. And it sounds like they're light blue. You can't tell what color they are just from listening to the ground. That big one on the end with the cactus scratches on his mirror. That's Desperado Diesel. After the... You'll never catch me now! <laughs> Trusty sidekick. As mayor, I hereby present you with this really shiny badge, making you the new sheriff of Breakshoe Bluff. All right! Boys, I've taught you the tricks of tracking trucks. But if you ever find yourself in a jam, just remember the words of the good old Ranger Oath. Resourcefulness, teamwork, honor, and a clean windshield. I can do that, sir. I can do it better. Here they go again. Chuck and Flipper always trying to outdo one another. I bet I'll be polishing my badge while you're still coughing my dust. In your dreams, Flip. Settle down, Rangers. Remember, this here ain't a contest. Now, here's the rules. Each of you will use your tracking skills to find these here parts which I hid around the truck stop. There's four of each part, so you can all earn your badge. Only thing you gotta do is track them down and collect them all in 10 minutes. Okay, first thing's a wheelbarrow tire. And I'll start you off with a hint. Biggs, yours is 20 truck lengths due south. Boomer, you go 20 truck lengths due west. Flip, 20 north. And Chuck, look for your wheelbarrow tire, 20 truck lengths east. You can use your compasses to tell which direction is which. Now, everybody ready? I'll just take out my trusty compass. Uh, huh? Where's my compass? Uh-oh. I left it at home. Wait, maybe I don't need a compass. Scoutmaster Biggers once said, the sun rises in the east. The sun came up over there, which means that way is east. So 20 truck lengths that way. Wheelbarrow tire, wheelbarrow tire. Bingo! 18, 19, 20. Hmm, that tire 
tracks smaller than the others. Like maybe for a wheelbarrow tire. Hey, hey Flip, look, I didn't even need a compass. That's because I'm resourceful. Just like it says in the Ranger Oath. You're still on the wheelbarrow tire? I'm already on the truck radiator. <laughs> Okay, looking for a truck radiator. Let's see here. Grease marks, tire tracks, oil drips. Okay, if Chuck can be resourceful, I can be twice as resourceful. Think. Hmm. That doesn't look like these other oil drips. And it doesn't smell like an oil drip. It smells kind of like rusty water, like from a radiator. Oh, yeah! Uh, racing flag, racing flag. Oh, this is part of a racing flag, but where's the stick thingy? Boomer! Well, flatten my tires and call me Shorty. Hi, Beaks. Hey, you found a flag. Well, that's what I've been looking for. So far, all I've found are these here two flag sticks. That's what I've been looking for. You know what? If you put your cloth together with one of my sticks, we got ourselves a checkered flag. But we'd only have one, and we both need a flag. Hmm, well, that's true. Oh, wait a second. Remember what the Ranger O says right after resourcefulness? Um, teamwork? Oh, I see. So you can give me one of the sticks you found, and we can team up to find the other cloth. Let's do it, partner. Hmm, sockets. A whole trail of sockets. And where there's sockets, there's got to be a socket wrench. Power and pickups. Now I've got half the stuff on the list. Wonder how much Flip's got. Oh, no. Here he comes. And there's another socket wrench. If Flip finds it, he might finish before me. Maybe I shouldn't, but I don't want to finish second. Oh, no! Chuck already has a socket wrench. I can't let him beat me. Huh? How did he? Oh, no! He got my socket wrench. Aha! Windshield wiper. That's all I need. I'm done. Hey, a windshield, and it's missing its wipers. Hmm, it's kind of like someone was trying to fix them. That's it, the repair shop. Got it. Not yet, you don't. Hey, that's mine. Go, oh, you let go. What you did. Me? You mean you? Time's up. Spark plugs assemble. Yep, that's right. Got it. Got it. Good job, Boomer. You got it all. Here's your tracking badge. So far, both y'all have proved your resourcefulness. We also used something else that spark plug rangers need. We used teamwork. I reckon you did, son. I, I mean, uh, Junior Spark Plug Ranger. <laughs> the wiper's mine! I found it! You mean mine! I got it first! Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened here? Well, it kinda got busted, and now we've both got half a wiper. So who gets the badge? Hmm, well, I can't answer that. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. But let's see. When a spark plug isn't sure what to do, the first thing to do is go back and check the spark plug oath, like Boomer and Biggs did. Remember what it says? A junior spark plug stands for resourcefulness, teamwork. Um, I guess we sort of forgot about teamwork. In fact, we were trying to race against each other to finish first. And we also forgot something else, the last part of the oath. Huh? But our windshields are spotless. Flip, the oath says resourcefulness, teamwork, and honor. 
Honor means doing the right thing, like being honest and fair. Remember? Oh, right. Like seeing things from the other guy's point of view. You know, I suppose you did see the wiper first, but you were the first to get it. I might have forgotten about Honor when I tried to hide your socket wrench. And when I swiped yours from you. I think Honor may be the most important part of the oath. It's kind of what the other parts are all about. Well, good for you both for figuring that out. Now, the only question is, which one gets to earn his badge? Neither of us. We didn't live up to the spark plug oath today, so we definitely didn't earn our badges. Well, I am impressed with the honest and unselfish judgment you've just shown. You may not have won your tracking badge today, but you each just earned yourself a genuine spark plug honor badge. Power pickups! Look how shiny this is! Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. There's nothing I can't do Gonna make all my dreams come true Cause there's nothing I can't do Inside Badly Bumper's lair, the wheel heroes make a daring attempt to escape. I've got you now, Zoom Zoomerton. <laughs> Watch out! No. Careful, Zoom! But wait! What's this? Zoom Zoomerton opens a trap door to reveal a fantastic quick escape slide! Awesome! You're trapped! a daring escape, just like them. <gasps> whoosh, whoosh. But how? We don't have a big escape slide like that. Not yet. But I know the perfect place to build a slide. To the clubhouse, guys. <laughs> we can make the slide start way up here. Do you think it could go like a corkscrew all the way down? And then maybe it could lead to a ramp that shoots us onto the trampoline. Those are both great ideas. Let's do it. A uh, chuck. How are we gonna build it that high? My ladder only goes up to here. Hmm. I don't know yet. But let's look around the parts yard for stuff we can build with. I'll bet we'll figure something out. I bet we could use this. I saw it first. Uh, I, I was just gonna take that. Not anymore. Wait, don't break it. We need that. <laughs> Are you gonna stop me? Goodness, who's that? Hi, I'm Chuck, and this is Digger and Boomer. What's your name? Billy. My dad brought me to this old truck stop and told me to wait while he got a toot up. So I'm just here looking for something to break. <laughs> hey, don't! Maybe we should get Chuck's dad. Oh, are you going to tell 
I didn't know you were a bunch of tattle trucks. It's okay, Boomer. We can figure this out ourselves. Billy, I was just noticing your crate. Is it new? I just had it installed. Bet you guys don't have anything that can reach this high. Whoa! No, we don't. But it would be great if we had something like that to finish our project. Do you want to help us? Help? How? Come on, we'll show you. So there's going to be this huge corkscrew. Zoom! And then you'll go right up a ramp and land on the trampoline. It's so awesome you have a crane. That's just what we need to build our slide really high. My... my crane? Whoa! For your dumb clubhouse? No way. Besides, I didn't come here to help. I came here to break stuff. I don't think he's gonna help. <laughs> We should get a grown-up. No way, guys. We're not tattle trucks, remember? Maybe he just needs some time to warm up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and maybe then he'll help us build the slide. Woohoo! Yeah! Check this out. Um, you have to wear safety gear on the half pipe. I don't have to do anything. You know, Billy, it might be fun if you helped us. What do you think? You know what would be even more fun? What? Knocking it down! <laughs> Billy, you're ruining our slide! I'm not ruining your dumb slide. I'm just playing a game. It's called Knock It Down. That's not a game. Uh, is it? Sure it is. And if you guys weren't such goody two wheels, you'd like playing it too. <laughs> I really think we should get a grown-up now. No way! There's three of us and one of him. We don't need help. Yeah, we built our whole clubhouse by ourselves, solos. And we can build a slide without a crane if we have to. But what if, what if Billy comes back? We can take care of that too. He's angry, he's surly. He makes our bubbles go curly. Watch out for the bully. He's wrong. He's tough. He messes with our stuff. Watch out for the bully. Watch out for the bully. Uh oh, the bully don't care now. If our feelings get bruised. Uh oh, the bully don't care now. We have to do something. He's just bad. Hands. He's cold. He's cruel. He thinks breaking things is cool. Watch out for the bully. Watch out for the bully. Uh oh, the bully don't care now. If our feelings get bruised. See him get through this. You're not knocking down our slide again. Oh, yes, I am. We need to tell him. No, we can work this out. Why don't you go tell? <laughs> Your friend's a scaredy truck. That's it, Billy. Stop calling us names. You need to leave our slide alone. Says who? Says me. You really told on me? I know when we need help, so I got a grown-up. You did the right thing, Boomer. Billy wasn't playing fair. In fact, he was being mean. Maybe we can still work things out, but we need a grown-up here to help. Dad, we did everything we were supposed to do. We asked Billy if he wanted to play with us. We tried to talk to him about not knocking down our slide. We even ignored him. But he's just a big bully who wants to ruin stuff. That does sound unfair, but now that I'm here, why don't you try again? We all want to play with you. Why are you being so mean? You really could have helped us with that awesome crane. 
That's the problem. My new crane. Your crane? Why? I... I don't know how to use it yet. My dad's been trying to teach me, but I'm really having trouble. Then when I saw how great you and your friends were at building stuff, I was mad I couldn't do the things you guys do. You didn't have to act how you did. We would have understood. I had a training shovel before I got esta pala grande, this big shovel. And I used to accidentally set my siren off all the time. We all have to practice a lot to learn new things. You're right. I'm really sorry I was such a bully. I'll leave you alone now. Oh, wait! Um, help us out anyway. We can always use another set of wheels. Really? Yeah! Vamanos, amigo! Wow, okay, thanks! was much more fun than knocking it down. And playing with friends is much more fun than playing alone or breaking stuff. Yeah, it is. And now comes the best part, trying out the slide. Come on, wheel heroes. Wait, Billy should be the first to try the slide. After all, we couldn't have done it without him. Yeah, you go first, amigo. Go on. Zoom, zoom, we're dead at the wheel heroes have done it again. You'll never get us now, badly, bumpers! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. 